think uh, if I was alive back then, that Bob would want to shoot me. The first boy can be stoned out of his mind, and the other boy is like on the ride of his life. <laughs> Hello again, Ross Glab here, your spokesperson for Physique Pictorial, reporting to you from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I wanted to let you all know that if you haven't had a chance to stop by MB Photo Gallery in Los Angeles, this is your last weekend to catch the show before it closes. Uh, Bob Miser's show, uh, Ambition, will be up for from now through the end of the week. Uh, and the show is really, really incredible. There's about 40 limited run um, prints uh, in both color and black and white. Uh, a lot of which has never been shared before, um, and the work is incredible. If you're out there in the next week, you gotta stop by and check it out. Feature photographers from the inaugural relaunch in volume 42, Josh Paul Thomas. Uh, he stopped by the space for us to check it out, show you what it looks like, and uh, have a quick chat with the gallery curator and manager, John Murphy. So, from uh, Los Angeles, California, let's let Josh give us a little insight uh, into the show. Take it away. Howdy, y'all. My name is Josh Thomas, and I'm here in Los Angeles at MB Photo. And we're going to step inside and take a tour of the Bob Meiser exhibit. So, come on. So we're inside now with um, the director of MMB Photo, John Murphy. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the uh, exhibition here? Uh, so our exhibition is titled Bob Miser Ambition. Um, we really tried to focus on the first 20 years of Miser's photographic process and explore the different types of subject matter and the diversity in the aesthetics that he was playing with uh, when he was just developing his photographic process. All right, John. Well, I would love if you could take me on a tour through the exhibition and uh, if you could point out some of your favorite images, that would be great. Of course, it'd be my pleasure. Um, one of my favorite images is actually right here at the beginning of the exhibition. Um, it's this really beautiful studio shot. Um, there's three really obvious, beautiful reasons to love this image, but I actually just love the composition. Um, it's, references a lot of other photographers at the time, like Pajama and Paul Cadmus, um, but it has this quintessential LA kind of moment in the background of this casting card with all the actors' names on it. Wow, I really love this image here with this homo milk. Um, John, can you tell us a little bit more about this? So this one um, went completely over my head the first time I saw it. Uh, Miser is really well known for creating these sets and these very elaborate props and he even has in some of the other images in the show these like uh, elaborate fake guns and rifles. So when I saw this, I thought Miser had created this very comical homo milk prop. Um, it wasn't until someone else came to the gallery and pointed out to me that it actually says homogenized milk. So that went straight over my head. Here's another one of the motorcycle. This one's like inside and like slide projections that he did for lighting and sort of give this like zoom zoom like uh, batman -y comic kind of feel. Look at this so, facial expression. I love the first boy can be stoned out of his mind and the other boy is like on the ride of his life. <laughs> This kid is beyond cute. And what I love is like his posing power. 
Lounge is actually a holster for his gun too. And the detail that goes into like the pouch itself, it's sewn obviously with like a, like venison string and like <laughs> a leather like fringe. It's spectacular. And his expression alone is just like, wow. And that, there's a lot going on in there too. <laughs> Look at all these sexy snakes. Oh my god, they're so good. Oh. Um, I actually really love this photograph here. Uh, this is the earliest photograph in the exhibition. and It's very different than everything else. Um, it really shows a window into the time that Meisen was taking these photographs. Uh, in this picture, you see these like beautiful surf boys, very like beach boy, but you also see men in complete full business suits on the beach. Um, and this man in like a leather jacket and sunglasses looking like he just got out of grease lightning. So, uh, oh. feeling inspired? Uh, I am, you know, I just like, this boy looks so happy, I thought I would try out that pose. Um, uh, yeah, what's you... amazing to me is like, I don't think I could even get a boy to pose like that nowadays. <laughs> and somehow, and this is probably the 60s, maybe late 50s. He got this boy to sit up there and do that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really love this one. This boy is so real. It looks like he like crawled out of the dust bowl and got <laughs> off of some like bus in LA. And I mean, but also just look at the proportions of this. It almost looks like a like a Rodin sculpture. He has like these huge hands and huge, huge feet. Huge hands, huge feet. Ah, oh, and huge, um, personality. Personality. So this one is actually super interesting to me because these men are covered with tattoos. Um, especially in the time period, I think this one was taken in the early, mid-50s. Um, these would not have been hipster tattoos. This is very much rough trade because, um, they're not even navy tattoos. These are tattoos that are on their hand and they're very visible, so these would have been, uh, yeah, I don't think you would have, would have wanted to meet these guys in a dark alley at the time. Or maybe you would want to meet them in a dark alley, depending on... I know I would. <laughs> <laughs> what have you found here? Um, well, uh, it's one of his holiday theme photos. And uh, what I love about it is uh, <laughs> this boy is literally wrapped up. But uh, there's actually some condensation right where his mouth is. So you know he's under there and he's getting hot. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to find that under your Christmas tree? Um, I would, for sure. <laughs> oh my god, I think this is one of my favorite images in the show. And it also has this uh, reminiscence of uh, another David artist. David um, So David Copley actually used this photograph as source material for one of his paintings. He actually has an entire series of paintings where he drew directly from Meisner's uh, photography. Um, and Hockney first came to Los Angeles partially to meet Miser and really inspired his later work. Beautiful. This guy looks rough and tumble. I love all the biker stuff. Um, there's so many like over the years, but I mean this one seems like he actually went outside and found like a real biker. Yeah, this actually looks like it was shot outdoors. This was a little bit different than some of his studio work. So good. You'd look good on a motorcycle. Thanks. <laughs> I think this is probably one of my favorite Bob Miser images ever. The the sets, the boys, the <laughs> body language, the uniform. I just wow. So this is the latest image in the show, and we put it in. It's, it's the only one from 1970. Um, just to show kind of where the work was going, where it was moving towards uh, after he left the 60s. Um, you see he started shooting uh, medium formats, but square, um, and you get these really interesting painted elaborate sets. Um, and you can see these carnation, these flowers. He was really working with layering, um, and you can really tell like the connection between this work and later work by contemporary artists like um, Pierre and Gilles, um, they really kind of started drawing on this multi-layered technique. Um, 
So this guy kind of looks like my uncle P. <laughs> it's just so cute, but also a little bit weird. Well, but also kind of hot. Hello, Uncle P. Yeah. And so you were telling me that yeah, so some he, of the guns in these are actually, they're not real. Yeah, he used a lot of these little props, and some of these are still actually around today. Oh, look at that camel toe. <laughs> Those boots. So good. So, um, this one is probably one of the sexiest images, I think, that the uh, show is exhibiting. I mean, it's the only one that's actually showing a little bit of a ball and dick. <laughs> and his expression is so beautiful. Well, he's, he's both literally and metaphorically looking down on you, just the, the point of view of you being like, <laughs> under where he's like literally just like, uh, it's very cheeky, it's very sexual. Dominating everything, love it. What I love about Bob Meiser is that he has a lot of diversity in the men that he chooses to shoot. Um, this one, this beautiful black guy with obviously a huge schlong. Um, and in this like sort of Italian-esque set, it's just like, it's such a good um, mesh of, uh, I don't know, culture and uh, art. This photo is so good. It's like mix genre. It's sort of like sci-fi meets fantasy. Amazon boy who's like on another planet, um, uh, kind of world to world, like imagery too. Um, and of course, is like little cozy college. It's like. <laughs> it's is that a, a fishbowl? Like <laughs> the, these props, these like very early LA sci-fi props, I think are so interesting. It's I'm, like. Yeah. I mean, I'd probably take my clothes off after finishing a fishbowl myself. For sure. I'm sure there was like plenty of like film props that were around from the day that he probably got his hands on. Um, so I would say that it's probably likely that some of these are probably props from actual films. And like this almost looks like a label gun? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> a taser. <laughs> An early taser. Um. This one was a still from a film that Meiser was creating um, about a telephone repairman. Um, I think the telephone repairman was the pizza delivery man of the day. Um, so it's him kind of like getting a glimpse into um, this physique pictorial world. Wow, 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 wow. Those prints look so incredible. Uh, the show looks great. Thank you, John. Thank you, Josh, uh, for showing us a look inside. All right, people, if you're in Los Angeles, California, you have a few more days to catch the show. I highly recommend it. It looks really wonderful. Props to you guys putting on that show, and of course, props to Bob Miser for making all that incredible work. Um, I have a positive comment shout out I wanna read, and it reads, great job, awesome, amazing videos and pics. And that is from Christopher. Christopher, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we appreciate your comments. Uh, I read all of them, whether they're good or bad, I appreciate them. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you think. Um, if you don't already, be sure to smash <clears throat> that subscribe button. Also, click that little bell, turn on post notifications so that you get a little update. Anytime we post one of these videos, you'll get a notification. So subscribe, turn on post notifications, keep commenting keep being part of this Bob Miser family that we are growing every single day. I appreciate you all. I'll have another little video for you in the next week or so with a look inside volume 46, which is coming out in September. All right, until then, peace. Let's try this again, ready? <clears throat> <sighs> <sighs>